What's up, Panthers Nation? It's Aaron Duncan here with the Necessary Bluntness Sports Talk. Back again with another Panthers video. We got breaking news. Cornerback Dante Jackson, the draft pick, the second round draft pick out of LSU in the 2018 draft class, has officially signed an extension for a three-year deal with $36 million in new money. The second signing from that 2018 draft class in the, in the second, same amount of days, two days. DJ Moore got his contract yesterday. Dante Jackson got his contract today. And but hold up real quick, before I go on any further, you guys make sure you are subscribed down below and hit the bell icon because I do NFL content and Panthers content all the time, breaking down these offseason moves that happens and stuff is happening pretty high. Obviously, it's been a couple busy days for the Carolina Panthers. So make sure you're staying up the date by subscribing hitting the bell icon down below all right appreciate it i'm actually happy with the deal it's a very very fair deal i think for where dante is and riding the line with number two cornerbacks i mean dante is super athletic has speed he's got the swag a little bit of toughness there yes he gets has some health issues and he's missing some games here and there were some nagging injuries with like the turf toe and the groin that he said he'll be ready for for training camp but according to pro football fo focus dante jackson only gave up 120 yards in man coverage over 140 snaps. That's less than a yard. I mean, it's a little over a yard per route. Pretty good to me. I mean, that the people may have their their quarrels with Dante, but Dante, he's a good player. He's grown to be the vet of this group, which is crazy to say. And what does this mean for the outlook of the team? I know it seemed like we were going to try to keep uh, Stephon Gilmore around, but it seemed like Dante Jackson is more of the guy that they're into. If they were going to be able to get a fair deal for Stephon, they were going to do it, but it seemed like youth, and athleticism and the price was the uh, determining factor. I feel like it was going to be an either-or situation with Dante, and they went to go with Dante. Like I said, he's he's part of the Matt Rule brand. Matt Rule has raved about him multiple times. They love his swag. Like I said, they love his enthusiasm. His personality is infectious. Um, he he's a he's a trash talker. Obviously, we know how Dante gets down. But this guy is a baller, man. He's had a lot of interceptions thus far in his career. We know what type of player he is there. So I'm really happy that Dante will be sticking around. This quarterback, this deal is very uh is very fair in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not mad at it. I mean, yes, you want to see him stay healthy, but. Besides health, Dante is a pretty solid corner. Yes, he gives up some big plays. That's because he's a gambler. He's actually one of the best playmakers on our defense when it comes to ball skills. So you got to take the good with the bad with Dante. He's a solid player. Um, obviously, like I said, he'll be the OG of the group. But we have two of our starting cornerbacks returning from injury when it comes from J.C. Horn and Dante Jackson. Hopefully both of these guys will be ready. And obviously we have Q Taylor uh, lurking around the back. And I like the group that we have at cornerback. We signed Xavier Woods to run out at secondary. They've Word has come out that Jeremy Chin will be staying at safety. So it seems like our secondary has taken shape. We signed a linebacker. It seems like our defense is really coming together. Maybe we'll get a little bit more depth on the inside of uh, interior D-line and maybe an edge in the draft. I expect us to go edge and the draft and possibly linebacker there also but the defense seems to be rounding out and trying to stack on the previous uh, good year that they had and i don't know where we at cat wise because there's been a lot of stuff going on in the past few days that we'll talk about in another video but we'll see how the salary cap shakes up see how much space we end up having but i'm really happy that we'll be keep dante around because he's a player that i think there's a building block and a core player you see we signed DJ on the day before, but now Dante, another core player that you draft. Getting these guys to a second contract is what you want to do. That means you're drafting correctly. This is another Marty Herney pick. Give Marty Herney his credit. He's not here anymore, but you got to give him his credit. Whenever you can get your draft pick to a second contract, that means he wasn't a draft bust. He was a successful draft pick. Another second round pick in the books that we end up getting on another deal. And so um, look for the Panthers to still stay active. I don't know how much we'll do on defense more, but I'm hearing some rumblings about us making a move on the left tackle. There's some things to be met, uh, had whenever, depending on how much money we have. And the way it's looking, we may be end up going quarterback in the draft because it seems like we're fitting all the team needs thus far in free agency. Friday was a busy day. I am cont will continue to probably keep the building the roster with uh, value deals and signing our core players. So I'm excited about what's happening, man. So you guys let me know down below in the comments how you feel about us signing Dante. I know some people in the fan base are kind of hot and cold on Dante. So I want to get a read on how you guys feel about Dante being around. Um, do you think that money is too much money? That three or $36 million to add it on. So it's about 11 to $12 million per year. So let me know down below in the comments. But without further ado, I'm Aaron Duncan signing off for the Necessary Blunt and Sports Talk. I'll see you next time. Peace.